Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Tactical Chaos and we're here today with some escape from Tarkov build gameplay gear loadout kitted out type shit video. Yeah, you know, feel me? We're just gonna uh, go over my RD build, the armor I like to run, the outfit, all that shit that uh, works really, really well for me on interchange. We're gonna head over to the hideout right now, check out the weapon, how it works, then I'll show you guys, you know everything I got going on with my build which I've just now finally hit a thousand hours in on the game um, so I am starting to understand Tarkov just a little bit more this game has taken a hell of a lot of time to learn how to play it is extremely unforgiving I mean I, mean, I know everybody says that it's probably such a cliche at this moment but it is so true so it takes a lot of time and effort to get to you know, to get better at the game you know but this is one of my favorite weapons that I have just absolutely come to love, dude. This weapon works really well. It's got great recoil, great, uh, great, recoil, great ammo. Um, well, okay, ammo. I got BP rounds in most of it and then the last couple of major PS because I have to craft the ammo and I'm not stacked out like a lot of the super uh, OP Chad players on Tarkov, you know. But still, nevertheless, let's go check out the recoil on my RD build. God damn though, look at that suppressor. That suppressor is hot. Shit. But I mean normally I probably wouldn't dump a drum mag that quick, dude. But um, either way, you guys see how well the recoil works on that. And I just absolutely love the way it looks. So um yeah, this weapon you do gotta put a little bit of money into it to build it. <clears throat> Luckily, I found a couple of them lately on Interchange doing uh, scav runs. So let's check out what I got going on. Let's head back to the uh, to the stash. So this is my RD right here, my Rifle Dynamics 704. Let's go. Let's put it on the backpack real quick. So I can head to the modern table and show you guys it. So this is probably my favorite weapon right now in the game. Now, M4s are always been my favorite weapons just because they are so sick, man, when they are kitted out. They look awesome. But this game right here, you need something higher than a 5.56 to even get anywhere in Tarkov. So, you know, AK 762 by 39 is like the least, you know, I'll usually go. Um, I've been trying to get into 7.62 by 5.1 a lot more lately because... I've been getting killed by them a hell of a lot, so and they do a lot of damage. So I've been running those a lot more, but I am still only level 34 in the game and only loyalty 3 with most of my traders. I haven't hit loyalty 4 with not one trader yet. So, you know, what I can get from the flea market and what I can get from traders is still pretty limited. Anyway, let's get on with the build. Let's check out where we're at with the stats. Horizontal recoil is at 127. Vertical recoil is down to 55. Um, Egronomics with the drum mag in it is 33. If I take the drum mag out and put on a regular mag, we will have 57 Egronomics. So we'll be able to pop in and out of that site very quickly. But uh, I want the drum mag on because I got a lot of good rounds in that. And uh, I got it stacked the way I want it. You know, BP and then T45 on the below um, just so I can pierce their armor and then unleash shell on them. Do some real damage. My ammo is not the best ammo, but it's what I have to work with. So, first off, my stock that you get from Mechanic Loyalty Level 3. I do love this stock. It is the Pro Mag Archangel Op 4 um, AA47 butt stock. Now, this reduces recoil by 39% and gives you 17 Egonomic points, which is pretty sick. It does cost 20k for Mechanic. Then, this grip, it comes stock with the um, RD. Which it's cool. I mean, it gives you 12 economic points. That's not bad. And then, of course, if you want to put your side on there like that, you need to get the uh, AKM, uh, AKDM Bastion Dust Cover. Bastion Dust Cover. I hope I said that shit right. 
All right, then we got the UH-1 Vortex Razor. I do like this a lot. Um, between this and the EOTech uh, Hollow, just the regular holographic, I don't know which one I like more. I do like this one. It seems like you got a little bit more of a field of vision out of it. And um, the, what I like about it is it goes over my PEQ box. I like to have my PEQ right up there, my uh, laser sight. Zenit purse. Well, it's not a PEQ. I said that wrong, but I'm just used to the same PEQ box. It's my Zenit tactical combo laser. Uh, this has an IR band, IR uh, uh, illuminator, and then just a regular laser, a visible one too. So I like to have that on top right there, and that goes over it pretty well. Then for my tack light, I'm using the Olight Bald Pro uh, tactical flashlight with the laser. And of course, to put attachments on an RD, you do need to get your M lock 2.5 for uh, 2.5 inch rails for the side attachment. And then for your bottom uh, foregrip, you're going to want to get the Magpul 4.1. And then go ahead and put on my angled foregrip Magpul, which I love. It's one of my favorite foregrips. Now, it only does 2% uh, reduction in recoil and 6 ergonomic points. There's a lot better foregrips, so don't get me wrong. Um, there is way better foregrips in the game, but I just like the way it looks. And it's The recoil is already so low. They're cheap. They're easy. They look sick. I'm comfortable with them, and that's why I like it, you know. I'm not always trying to use exactly what everybody else wants, uh, so this is the way I like to have my gun and then come over here to AR-10 Thunder Beast 762 by 51 muzzle brake that's what goes on the RD um, so put that on there and then that reduces recoil by 9% it takes away one eager knowledge point it gives you 1% accuracy and then we're going to come over here to the suppressor and then we put you have to have that the AR-10 Thunder Beast 30B for the suppressor to fit onto it then we got the Thunder Beast Ultra 5 sound suppressor with uh, another 13% recoil reduction this does take away 3% accuracy and minus is loudness by 22 points uh, it does take away 23 granola points which is kind of hefty but it's okay Egonomics. Once we dump, we're going to be hit firing anyway with that drum mag, basically, and um, so the egonomics are okay with that. And once you dump the drum mag, you got what did I say we had? Yeah, 57 egonomics without that, so we're good once we got that off. And hip fire is the way to go when you have a drum mag. Try and get up close and just dump that shit. And unleash hell on them. So this is my RD build, guys. I hope you guys like it. Let's go check out my armor, my drip, and all that shit. Cool. Let's go over here. This is the drip that I'm running right now. It's over there. All right. So we got the Bear Grizzly top on. Which I like that because it's all black. Get up in there because them scabs on interchange, bro, they're tucked in the shadows, dude. So you want to blend in, stay dark and hidden, you know, running through that basement, bro. Because if you're running in there with light colored clothing, bro, they see you so quick and just smoke you, you know. And interchange has got amazing loot, but there are tons of campers on it. All right, and then we got that bear R um, SRVV top, I mean, uh, bottom. You don't want to be wearing that in a night off on interchange. Put that on. This is one of my favorite drips. All right, we'll go over here. I got my ghost mask on right now with uh, the bear armor, which I do love this armor. Um, it's armor steel. It's uh, armor class 5. Armor points are 55 on it, and it protects the stomach and the thorax. And it's got a good amount of pouches for ammo, uh, mags, fucking uh, any kind of loot you find. You got your water, your uh, meds, whatever you need. It's got a good amount of spots in it, uh, container size. So I do like that. 
Um, especially if you got, you know, just a little bit of loot on you and you want to hit a hole in the fence real quick, this is a good vest to do it. And then for my backpack, I am running the pillbox, which is cool little backpack. You can get this shit for a hella cheap, like 17 on the flea market. Hella cheap. And it's got an okay amount of space. Um, I know I see a lot of those, uh, you know, really good Tarkov players running huge-ass backpacks. But I'm already at 32 kilograms, dude. I don't like being super heavy and not being able to breathe, you know. So, I like to stay at least a little bit around uh, my weight. Then for my helmet, of course, Highcom Striker uh, helmet, all black. It's got a good protection over the ears right here. Material ultra high weight uh, polyethylene, I guess. 38 ar um, armor points. Then I just got uh, these headset because I had this headset lying around. Just the MSA Sword and Supreme Pro. But um, if I'm really getting serious. Of course, I will rock the Contact 4 headset, which is a way better headset. But it does cost a lot more, too. And put that on there, fuck it. My glass, uh, my eyewear is the Gas Welder Safety Goggles. This does give you 45% protection from flashbangs which is a must bro, because it sucks when you get when you throw your own flashbangs and you get stunned by your own shit yeah that's happened to me quite a few times and i think i am out of everything good really got a bunch of janky ass grenades right now try and throw those i'll probably be killed before i can even toss them so i'm not gonna even put them on those are janky just get me killed uh for my meds i got the CMS surgical kit, which is great for, uh, you know, if your whole arm's just completely out of HP resources, bro, this right here will get it back up so you can heal yourself, you know, remove bullet wounds and shit and fix yourself. Uh, this right here is my Grizzly Medical Pack, which is one of the best, definitely. This does everything, removes fractures, contusions, uh, pain, radiation, light bleeding, heavy bleeding, it is great. I don't even know why I got the CMS kit, but, you know, I just like to be uh, prepared. This thing is big. It takes up a lot of room, so that kind of sucks. Water, sugar, adrenaline stem. This removes pain, contusion, gives you strength, endurance, uh, recoil control, and it reduces your stress resistance. It does give you health regeneration over 15 seconds. So if you're in a fight, you pop that shit, bro. Recoil control and health regen. And this is the shit right here. I definitely love the P22 stem. This takes away uh, or reduces damage taken by 10% for 60 seconds. Gives you skill resistance, health, and vitality. But it does take away your endurance and recovery. So that's why I got sugar and water to recover after I pop my stems. This is my full interchange rat killer build i hope you guys like it dude it is a kind of a cheeky ass rat build itself but it is pretty fun to run and it looks hella sick thank you guys for watching this is tactical chaos hope you guys enjoyed the video i am still pretty new to tarkov these are my stats that i'm running right now obviously i got my first thousand hours into the game i've only been playing for about 100 days now my survival rate 33 or 43%. KD is 2.08, you know. So I feel like I'm starting to get the hang of playing Tarkov. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next video.